Madam Ping? And Cloud Retina? It appears you made haste after all. One arrived but moments before you. Oh, bless my soul. To what do I owe the honor? How nice of you all to come and visit me. Miss Illuminated Bird, haven't you said anything yet? Said what, precisely? And why should one be tasked with saying it? Cause you're the one who's known Madam Ping the longest. <sighs> Street word. <clears throat> or rather, presumably, you would prefer to be addressed as Ping? Oh, Cloud Retainer, you are uncommonly polite today. One, uh... uh mm. Given that Lantern Rite is almost upon us, the weather in the city is most pleasant, and a sweet floral fragrance lingers in the air. Ahem. Ganyu, please continue from here. Huh? Uh, all right? So, this all started because we were trying to help Mr. Dvorak find the Adeptus who saved his ancestor's life. Cloud Retainer informed us that the one who played that melody and rescued the drowning man was none other than yourself. Ah, huh. let me think. Yes, I do believe I recall that encounter. <sighs> what a long time ago that was. I'm surprised that you still remember it. Even more astonishing, perhaps, is the fact that this story has survived this long at all, when mortal lives are so very brief. <laughs> it appears that she has proven herself right once again. Who's she? We like to call her Gui Jong. From the look in Cloud Retainer's eyes, I sense that she has already told you all about her. <sighs> Albeit reluctantly, one might add. Oh, there is no harm done. After all, Lantern Rite's very purpose is to commemorate the heroes who gave their lives for Liu Wei. Although Gui Zhong did not live to see the splendid sights of today, she was as much a hero as any other. Uh, so... How has she proven herself right again, exactly? Once upon a time, she said to me that humans were a weak form of life that she wished to protect with her wisdom. But as she interacted more and more with them, her opinions on them began to change. She marveled at the beautiful complexity of their spirits, the sheer splendor of all they could accomplish through their hard work and intelligence. She told us that to underestimate human potential would be to make a grave mistake. With the smallest amount of guidance, enormous power can be unleashed in them, and a human who has reached their full potential may well be her equal. Someone who could have as much to teach an Adeptus as to learn from them. Hmm. She always had a way with words. That her mechanical accomplishments were judged superior to one's own was, one suspects, in large part due to her sheer eloquence. Speaking of mechanics, Cloud Retainer, do you still remember that potted plant mechanism? The one that the two of you gave me as a gift? Of course. Gui Zhang and Wan both put an immense amount of effort into that gift. It would be no overstatement to call it a testament to each of our individual technical genius. As Gui Zhang once said, it takes every blade of grass and every flower to make a homeland. When I see the sight of Liyue Harbor before us today, I am reminded of this. Madam Ping looks very emotional right now. 
<sighs> of all of us, it was Gui Zhong who was the fondest of these grand and exciting occasions. Huh. <laughs> If she were still with us, I'm quite sure she would still be trying to best Cloud Retainer's finest works at every opportunity. Liyue Harbor is always filled with the sound of music at this time of the year. If she were here, one is certain that she would seek you out to discuss and debate the virtues of various melodies. Oh yeah, music! We've been dying to ask! What was the melody that you played back then? Oh, also, with you being such a music expert and all, why don't you join the concert as a performer? I can make arrangements right away. Oh, as much as I don't wish to dampen your enthusiasm, it's been a long time since I played this zither. My fingers don't have the dexterity they once did, and... Whenever I play that tune, it always reminds me of her. I start wondering what she would think of the changes I have made to her melody. There was a period of time whenever I started strumming, it almost felt like she was back again. Sitting right there on the stone stool next to me, chatting away. Skybracer and Seagazer too looking just like they did in the old days. No matter how much time goes by, the moment that melody starts playing, it transports me right back to that time in my memory. So the past still weighs heavily on your heart? No. Oh, I would be lying to myself if I claimed to have completely moved on. But that is not to say that grief doesn't get easier with time. Despite the sadness, I have found many things that bring me joy in life. It is simply the nature of the world in which we live that, even if one wished to mourn for an eternity, it would be a nigh impossible feat. Just look at this potted plant. Isn't it stunning? It takes an honest and open mind to confront and conquer grief. You have indeed made progress. <laughs> Be that as it may, I shall leave the lantern right stage to the youth of today. Well, if you're sure... Granny! <laughs> Whoa, what's everyone doing here? Did something bad happen? Ah, uh -huh. and now we've spooked Yanfei. <laughs> no, no, everyone's just here to give me their regards for the holiday. That's wonderful, I'm glad! Well, in that case, happy lantern right, everyone! Happy lantern right! Oh, I... I just remembered that I have some... uh... work to do at Yuhai Pavilion that I need to discuss with Yenfei. I haven't been able to find a chance until now. I will leave Mr. Dvorak in your capable hands. Cloud Retainer? Ping? We will be off for now. Huh? Does it have to be right now? Which case is this again? Hey, Ganyu! <laughs> it seems Ganyu still has much to learn when it comes to the art of deception. What a pity. She has learned nothing of one's ability to carry a conversation. Since it's been so long, Cloud Retainer, why don't you stay? I'll make a cup of tea and we can chat a while. Gladly. This was one's intention as well. When you next see the Fontaine musician, please give him my regards. I'd like to wish him the very best with the concert. You got it, Madam Ping! Thank you all. I think you've listened to enough of my nattering for one day. As for that melody, I will play it for you all another time. Goodness knows I need to practice it first. Wow, that'd be great! We'll look forward to it! <laughs> when that time comes, wherever her spirit may be among the countless grains of sand and specks of dust between the harbor and the mountains, perhaps she will look at the Liyue of today 
and steal a smile when she sees the prosperous land that it has become. Following me. Mr. Dvorak! Ah, and Kuching's here too! Thanks for helping set all of this up. Welcome back. Did everything go well? Really, really well. We found the person Mr. Dvorak was looking for. Are you serious? Uh, I see. So the melody my ancestor heard was an adeptus remembering her late friend? That certainly explains why it was such a powerful and poignant tune. Huh. That's a really interesting first reaction. Guess that comes with having a musical mind. I have to say, though, it, it's hard to believe that the fairy from the tale is now an elderly granny. Oh, Paimon knows exactly what you mean. Normally, Adepti don't age at all. But Streetward Rambler, or Madame Ping as we know her, probably only became old because it's what she wanted for herself. Madame Ping possesses vast knowledge and great wisdom. Whatever physical form she may decide to take, her mind and wits are as sharp as they come. That's exactly what Paimon was trying to say. I think... Mm, yes. I must thank her in person. That can wait until after the concert, though. For now, I need to devote all my emotional energy to the performance. Ah, speaking of, Madame Ping wishes you all the best at the music festival. Paimon has a sneaking suspicion that she'll stay in her usual spot, but listen to the performances from afar. Wait, are you serious? Huh. Oh no, now I'm starting to get nervous. Okay, all right. Nope, another rehearsal is in order. Please excuse me, everyone. insights with me. Uh, well, we found out that music can be used for good, but also for bad. Um, it can make people happy and moved, but it can also be sad and bittersweet. And music is like a kind of memory written in people's hearts. It can put you in touch with feelings from a totally different time and place. It sounds like you had an eventful trip. Don't worry, I'm sure Ganyu will fill me in on all the details shortly. Wait, does that mean you're gonna carry on working? Mm-hmm. Just a few things to wrap up. All the groundwork is done. As long as everyone enjoys the festival activities, all our efforts are worthwhile. Happy Lantern Rite to you as well. Whew. That should be everything taken care of, right? Oh, no, wait. Paima feels like she's forgetting something. Ugh. What was it? Oh, it feels like it was a while ago. Ah, uh, shoot! Latent... Wait, no. Anyway, uh... Fancy bamboo shoots! Zhang Li said he wasn't in a hurry, so... If we went now, there's probably still time, right? Anyway, even if we don't make it, it's not our fault. He could have totally picked him by himself. Ugh. Anyway, let's go check with him at Wang Chung Funeral Parlor. <laughs> Too slow.
da 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 Casually practicing your rapping skills at the entrance to your funeral parlor? In broad daylight? Uh, okay. <laughs> After everything we've been through, you don't see me for a hot minute, and you're back to being scared of your own shadow. We have all this open space, a clear view of the mountains behind and the sea in front. Not to mention we have several invisible audience members enthusiastically cheering us on. It's the perfect spot to rehearse. Invisible audience members? <laughs> Gotta say, it took me a few days to get used to Director Hu's way of talking. <laughs> Xin Yan was pretty spooked too when she first got here. Just like when she sees a frog, but a giant frog with sharp teeth. Come on, knock it off! What's wrong? I've never seen someone look so confused before. Well, don't worry, because Director Who's here to explain it all. <clears throat> there once was a Fontaine musician who went around town on a mission. He came door to door for his iridescence tour, looking for acts to audition. With my words, Shen Yan's chorus and Yoon Jin as our mentor, We'll take the stage by storm, with flames roaring, and the whole audience calling for more. For sure! The whole dance floor will be yelling, Encore! Encore! Oh, now Paimon's rhyming along. Um, but when you say flames roaring, are you sure this will be safe? <laughs> oh, don't you worry about that. I'm pretty experienced on the stage, and I've already informed the Yuhong of all the pyrotechnics we're planning on using. Huh. Guess we'll just have to trust Xin Yan on this one. Oh, Zhang Li. He took one of those fancy meal boxes and set off for the mountains. Said he wanted to pay a visit to some old friends. It's a real pity that he couldn't be around for this. As well as being a true connoisseur of traditional art forms, he's able to appreciate Xin Yan's performances too. Yeah, that's right. Matter of fact, he was the one who first invited me to perform here. To tell the truth, though, I never thought I'd really find myself rehearsing here one day. <laughs> well, now you know. The Wangsheng Funeral Parlor is a great location. All of you are always welcome to come and hang out here, especially if you're in the mood to try something new. I can speak to that. Hu Tao is always full of fun surprises. And jump scares. Actually, Xinyan, I have some lyric ideas for your part. Do you want to go through them together? Oh, sure thing. I'm all ears. Oh, Traveler and Paimon, I believe Zhang Li was heading to Mount Hulao, so make sure you're hiking up the right hill. When you see Zhang Li, please pass on this message to him. It's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. You should join us, too. It'll be a riot. If there's one thing I've learned from being a funeral director, it's how to throw a party. <laughs> too slow. Behold! from Liyue Harbor? How is the city nowadays? Everything's great! But you know, if you're so curious, 
Atlantis, you can always go and check it out for yourself. In fact, Moon Carver has been taking many walks on Mount Tianhang in recent times. I believe the sights of the city are quite familiar to him. Chun Li, here you are. We've brought the bamboo shoots you wanted. Impeccable timing. Traditionally, bamboo shoot soup ought to be slow cooked for many hours on low heat. Using Adeptus Arts to hasten the process is something of a shortcut. Wait, that mechanism. Is that? Indeed. Cloud Retainer kindly lent me her supreme cuisine machine. Can we not just call it a cooking machine? Ugh, actually, never mind. She seems to take a lot of pride in her mechanical gizmos, so it's probably best if Paimon doesn't go changing the name willy-nilly. I trust that you found the answers you were seeking during your recent journey? Excellent. The past should be remembered, but not overly dwelt upon. Our journey should be seen as a means to take on more from the world around us. When the bamboo shoot soup is ready, I must insist that you try some for yourself. Something. She said, it's up to him whether he wants to support us at the performance tonight, but I expect him to make time for the upcoming banquet we're planning. No excuses. When she says performance, she must be in the Lantern Rite Music Festival. As for the banquet, uh, she didn't tell us anything more about that, but she invited us to come as well. As you can see, I have a prior engagement with two Adepti friends of mine tonight. Please, give Director Who my best wishes for the performance. As for the banquet, hmm, since the Director insists, far be it from a mere consultant like myself to refuse. Yay! Then we'll see you there? Absolutely. Rex Lapis, the bamboo shoot soup is ready. Thank you. I will examine it right away. Hmm. The appearance is exquisite, and the aroma rich and intense. The craftsmanship of this machine is commendable indeed. Since you came all this way, you should not leave empty-handed. Please, take some soup. It tastes most exquisite while still warm. Following Squall and Fury. <laughs> I'm honored to be here on the Iridescence Tour stage. All right, without further ado, I'm Shinyan. This is Hutao, and this is a little something called. <laughs> Please, 
I'm up here blazing trails through the midnight sky, lighting up the world below. And when the crowds all hear my voice, they'll meet the spirit of rock and roll. Let's go. Hey, you butterfly, you too buzzing by. Got your way to the afterlife, opening the path without a fright. Oh, I'll light the fire, watch it blaze across the universe. I'll spit my rhymes, watch your step, or you'll get burned. Hey, woo! Does anyone have any plans tomorrow? With another year behind us, I think we deserve a celebration of our own. Mm. My treat. Interested? The Tian Xuan footing the bill? <laughs> I can't miss out on that. <laughs> May the year ahead be a blessed one. I believe it shall be. Master, the Shao Lanterns, I... Ha! Elementary! One shall fashion for you a Shao Lantern the likes of which the world has never seen. And you must take it to Liyue Harbor to display its magnificence for all. <laughs>